Kangyasuk is an Inuit community in Nunavik, in the Ungava Bay, and there is a large lake named Tasirhyorzik or Virgin Lake near the community where thousands of Arctic char are entering during the fall season. They spend the winter in fresh water in the lake, but nobody can find them. They disappear. Even the elders have no idea where they are. They reappear in late spring and people can fish them. So the main part of the project consists in discovering where the Arctic char are hiding in winter. And the idea was to tag some fish with acoustic transmitters to find where they hide, but ultimately also why they hide, if there are some specific characteristics of the environment. It was not an easy logistic, especially to bring the canoe to the lake because there was no road. So they had to be really resourceful. They pulled the canoe with a hamutek, a sled, through the rocks. They managed finally to do it to the lake, but the sled died just when they arrived. We installed two camps, one at the lake and one at the tagging area where the fish are entering the river. At each high tide, there were a batch of fish coming from the sea and waiting to climb the waterfall to go to the river upstream and join the lake a few kilometers away. We were waiting for the high tide to catch the fish at the feet of the waterfall. As you can hear, there was a lot of motivation to catch them, but unfortunately we were a little bit early in the migration. We have also had to improve our strategy. We broke several deep nets, but finally we managed to catch them. To install the tag, we put each fish in a bin filled with anesthetic to let them sleep and after about 10 minutes, the surgery could start. The surgery to install the tag lasted about 2-3 to three minutes. The tag was inserted inside the abdomen of the fish and two stitches was done to close the opening. Once the surgery was done, the fish was released in the river upstream the waterfall so that we didn't catch them again. The fish was placed in a natural recovery basin in calm water until they could recover completely. After an hour, they were uh, strong enough again to swim upstream the river and to go in the current. To receive the signal of the fish tag, we had to install acoustic receivers in the lake. So we put 11 receivers in the large lake, and we will install two other receivers in the small upstream lakes. Uh, we will wait for the winter to install them because the access was too difficult this summer. This is how they look before setting them in the lake. We had a great motivated team, especially the three students, Aina, Silesi and Victoria, and really good guides. We were two southern researchers and several other people that helped us. We will retrieve the receivers from the lake next summer and we will discover where the fish were hiding during the winter. See you next summer! If you want to know more on the project, we have a Facebook page, Arctic Char Monitoring in Kangasuk.